Is creativity important? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'd all love to sort of be creative scientists, wouldn't we? I mean, that would be terrific. Um, but I'm not sure how... There are... I think the, the, the term that appeals more to me, because I'm not actually sure what creativity means from personal experience, you know, because actually really good science has that sort of quality that you sort of put one foot in front of the other and then when that foot is well and firmly grounded then you take another footstep and then that's on, you know, solid ground and then you take another one and uh, that doesn't sound terribly creative to me. But I think um, what, what does appeal to me much more is a certain playfulness <clears throat> and I'm not sure that's really the same thing. I admire people who do fun things. I mean, I think it actually ought to be fun. But, you know, on the other hand, that kind of super creative science tends to rest on a bed of what you also referred to, which is the more pedestrian, you know, just establishing a corpus of knowledge very, very securely. So I guess it takes all sorts to, to make a scientific universe. You, need, you know, you need accurate plodding as well as imaginative flights of... Fancy, but I think we tend to celebrate the more imaginative flights of fancy when we, uh, when we look back at the history of science. We, we celebrate those moments where somebody realized something for the first time and opened up a whole new avenue of research, and we tend to call that creative, but I'm not sure that it always is. It's usually sort of more lucky and, you know, people just doing what anyone would have done in the circumstances, interested in the particular kinds of things that they were interested in. <laughs>